preparation for CET and board exam. Okay. How to study, what to study for CET and board exam. Okay. Atta apan he pagna re ki kasa abhyas karecha hai, kaya karecha CET la ane board exam la. Pan actually board exam madhe paper kasa lehecha, kiwa chukka kutte hota hai, kiwa kutle questions answer kaya lehela paje, marking scheme kaya asthe, he bhi tumhala board parikshe cha adhi saange. Atta to part apan pagna nahi hai. Barabar? Atta apan pagna re pagta, thoda sa physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, अने ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सा अभ्यास सीटी एग्जाम ला अने बोर्ड एग्जाम ला कसा करें जा काय ट्रिक्स वर पर ते दे हे थोड़ा सा पढ़ बगना रहे ओके लेट अस सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट बगतो अपन आधी सक्रियत महत्वपूर्ण लक्ष्य थे वैसे टेक्स्टबुक टेक्स्टबुक इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑल द क्वे� टेक्स्टबुक जब बाहर से काही ये थी, फर्स्ट थिंग, देवरफॉर रीडिंग ऑफ टेक्स्टबुक इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट, वन, नेक्स्ट, क्वेश्चन आस्क इन द पेपर, मे बी इन द सीटी एग्जाम एस वेल एस इन द बोर्ड एग्जाम, नॉट ओनली इन द मैटर, ही वन इन द टेक्स्टबुक, बट आल्सो आस्क ऑन द डायग्राम्स, टेबल्स, See or observe that diagrams or tables or chart carefully. Now the examiner, then moderator, chief moderator, then paper setter, model answers, all they are using textbook only. Okay, therefore now actually in the CET exam the questions are asked from line to line. They are constructed on the line. Therefore reading of the textbook or each and every line from the textbook is important. Therefore, read thoroughly textbook. Okay, one thing. Next, now how to prepare for board exam and CET exam? I will explain you simultaneously. Let us consider one by one. First, physical chemistry, then inorganic and then organic part. Okay, it is first physical chemistry. Okay, you know that first solid state, solution, ionic equilibrium, then thermodynamics, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, these topics from the physical chemistry. In that theory part as well as numerical part. Okay, both are there. Actually, physical chemistry is a concept based very simple. Once you understand the concept, it is scoring subject. Okay. Actually, chemistry is a well-organized subject. If you study it in a proper way, then it is very simple, very easy to understand and a scoring subject. Okay. Then, theory part and a numerical part in physical chemistry. Now, how to prepare for theory part? Theory part, actually, first you have to divide that topic into different units and subunits. Okay. And then read one by one unit and subunit. Read that part, learn that part, understand that concept and simultaneously note down any formulae obtained in that part then in a separate notebook. Make a separate notebook for this and use that notebook and this textbook for the exam. Then you have to note down simultaneously the formulae, the meaning of the terms of that formulae here. Okay, now. In this way, that is, read, learn, understand the concept, then revise that part. Like this, you have to complete the entire topic. Then, see the exercise question. It is not necessary to write the answer. Just, you have to read that question. If you don't know answer of that question, then find out the answer, construct that answer, and then learn that one. Okay. In this way, complete the theory part. In this, again, one more thing, when you read that theory part, then you can prepare the tables or charts or tree diagrams. Okay. For example, for solid state, you know the, the part here, 
सिंपल क्यूबिक बीसीसी एंड एफसीसी थ्री क्यूबिक सिस्टम्स आर देयर देन यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर वन टेबल सी हियर दैट द पॉइंट्स आर द लैटिस पॉइंट्स हियर 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 मेंशन दैट पॉइंट देन एक्चुअल नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स देन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर फॉर ऑल दिस देन व्हाट इज ए एज लेंथ व्हाट इज आर व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस टू देन how much volume occupied by the atoms in these three then what is the packing fraction what is the packing efficiency then what is the density formula for these three like this you have to prepare the table then it is very easy to answer the question in a cet exam as well as in a board exam because in the board exam also 10 mcq and 8 very short answer questions are there okay in this way you have to prepare the theory part i have given here one example you have to do like this so many charts and tables for comparative study for comparative study okay next now numerical now for numerical 15 marks are there in the board exam okay now once your theory is perfect you know the formula and the unit conversion then you can solve any numerical okay now here numericals you have to solve the solve numericals which are given in the textbook as well as exercise numerical numericals both numericals ask in the exam okay it's about the numericals now for cet exam how to solve the numericals quickly because time available is less then you have to use the formula or convert that formula ready to use for example i am giving some examples and remaining part i will cover that in the respective topic okay consider one example from solution and colligative properties in that i'll you know that alpha is equal to i minus 1 n minus 1 n that is number of particle if you know the number of particle suppose ab type of electrolyte then two particle then you have to substitute here two particle and convert that formula as r is equal to 1 plus alpha if two particles are there if three particles are there then r is equal to 1 plus 2 alpha if four particles are there r is equal to 1 plus 3 alpha like this because by just observing the compound nacl kcl or alcl3 you know the number of particles then you can use this ready to use formulas are here which gives the answer quickly okay one more in ionic compound actually so many tricks are there i will give you that tricks and the respective topic also just i am giving the some examples here okay in ionic compound that is in that H plus ion concentration is equal to ionic equilibrium topic is equal to alpha c. This is given. But suppose if equilibrium constant is as the dissociation constant or for acid or base, then you can use this formula also. K A C. Or if OH minus ion concentration required, then K B C. Under root K B C. If alpha is as, use this formula. K is as, use this formula. Like this. okay so the some tricks consider one more example from electrochemistry electrochemistry in that number of faradays or number of coulombs required to deposit the metal is asked then remember here if it is a monovalent for example kg plus na plus k plus etc then one faraday is required to deposit that one mole monovalent if it is a divalent like a calcium or cu2 plus then it require a two faraday to deposit one mole of that metal if it is a trivalent aluminum plus 3 then it require a three faraday to deposit one mole of that air plus 3 okay just by observing the compound you can find out the how much faraday and then from that how much coulomb is required if you know the mole then convert it into gram and then for this much gram how much coulomb or how much faraday is required like this you have to use such a tricks 
to solve the numerical synthesis diagram. Okay. Other tricks are also there in chemical the kinetic topics. So many tricks are there. I will explain that at that in that topic. Okay. It's about the physical chemistry. Now how to study the inorganic chemistry. Next topics is P block that is group number 16, 17, 18, then D and F block element, then coordination compounds. Okay. In that inorganic chemistry. See here. Here we should know first the periodic table. You should have periodic table in your study room. Okay. You know the groups, periods, etc. Once you know the periodic table, once you know the group, then you can find out the va their valency. If you know the valency, then you can find out the formula of the compound. If you know the formula, then you can write the reactions. It is inorganic reaction. And then balance. Don't go directly to balance the chemical equation for this inorganic reaction. Okay. You uh, balance that equation logically by using this basic concept. You should know these basic concepts. Okay. You should know the periodic table, then electronic configuration. Once you know the electronic configuration, then it is very easy to study MO theory, which is required for CET exam or nature, that is chemical bonding topic or structure of any compound. Okay, then one more thing in inorganic chemistry that the oxoacids of sulfur, okay, oxoacids of chlorine, a separate videos are available trick given there. You have to please watch that videos. Okay, it is very easy. Then I will give you one more trick here for inorganic chemistry for CET exam. Okay, suppose you want to find out the, the Magnetic moment. Now, how it is determined in a theory exam, how it is presented in a theory exam, then marking scheme for that numerical, I will explain at the time of board exam. Just now, how to find out quickly for a CET exam? See that one. Suppose, if you know that Bohr magneton, that is spin only magnetic moment is determined in Bohr magneton, the formula nu is equal to the root n n plus 2 n that is number of unpaired electron once you know the un unpaired electron suppose unpaired electrons are 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 maximum we are considering d block elements here okay 5 then substitute this value find out answer how you have to represent i will explain that at the time of board exam, how it is represented for board exam. Okay. Now for CET exam, how will you get the quick answer? See here, if one unpaired electron is present, then the 1.732 Bohr magneton, magnetic moment is here 1, 1 1.73. For 2, it is a 2.828. 2. Okay. For 3, it is a 3.873. Okay, for 4, it is a 4.899. For 5, it is a 5.916. That is, remember only this one. Okay, that is, if options are given, and if you find out the number of unpaired electrons, then you can write the quickly answer. One more trick here for this. When, when it is a 0, then it is a 0. Okay, when one unpaired electron is present, when configuration is D1. When to D2, D3, D4, D5, then for D6, again 4 unpaired electron, D7, D8, D9, okay, and here D0 and D10. See here, sum is 10. Okay, once you know the configuration just of that ion or atom, then immediately you can find out the Bohr magneton that is a spin only magnetic moment. Again, in that again detail, again one more or so many tricks are there for this. 
I will explain that in the D block 11 topic. Okay, consider that in detail there. Now for coordination compounds, first you have to, it is necessary to find out its structure, its configuration by using BBT, CFT, etc. Then find out unpaired electron and then use the, then find out the this paramagnetic or diamagnetic like this. Okay, and then magnetic moment. Okay, that is just you should know the, what are the tricks are available for CET exam. When you study this part, then in detail for board exam. Then quick answer for CET exam. How will you get the answer quickly? Okay, next one. It's about the inorganic chemistry part. Next, consider organic chemistry. How to study organic chemistry? First, remember that the systematic, well-planned study leads to success. There is no any shortcut method. Okay. Do the systematic and well-planned study. Next. Now consider organic. Organic is very simple and very interesting. Okay. Organic chemistry in that. You should know first nomenclature. Nomenclature of organic compound. Make a five groups. Alkane, alkane, alkane. Then halogen derivative alcohol ether, then aldehydes and ketone, then carboxylic acids and their derivatives. That part is very important. Once you know the derivatives of carboxylic acids, then the preparation of aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acid and their reactions is all. You watch please that video, derivatives of carboxylic acid in the playlist nomenclature of organic compound. Okay. Once you know that derivatives of carboxylic acid organic chemistry is very easy for aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid. Okay. Next is nomenclature for compounds containing nitrogen, cyanide, amines, nitro compounds, isocyanides, etc. Okay. That is first important is nomenclature. Okay. Then second part is you should know what is mean by hydrolysis. Hydration, dehydration, oxidation, reduction, electrophilic substitution, nucleophilic substitution. Then different, that is this different, hydrogenation, dehydrogenation, like this. You should know all this concept. That is the next point. Next. Now, when you, actually this topic, halogen derivatives, alcohol topic, alcohol phenol, ether, aldehyde, ketones, compounds containing nitrogen, this organic chemistry are related to one another. You should know first halogen derivative, then start study of alcohol phenol ether. You should know this topic, then go to aldehyde and ketone, like this, go serially. Okay, next. Now, in all these topics, first part that is classification nomenclature, you know that part. You can study that part, that is somewhat easy. Now, the next part is preparation methods and reactions. Then, in that, Preparation methods and the chemical properties that is reaction. First, you should know how many methods of preparation and which are them. And how many reactions are there for that topic and which are them. Just you have to remember that part. Once you know this part and the nomenclature, then you can write any reaction logically. Okay, next. Now, when you write the reaction, first write the general reaction, that is, by using R. And then, write for the specific example. Suppose, for example, aldehyde and ketone, you prepare the, by using general R. RCHO or RCOR. Okay, then take specific example, that is, for formaldehyde, what happens, how it is prepared. Then, for acetaldehyde, how many methods of preparation and how it is prepared. Then for acetone, how it is prepared? Okay, like this. That is first consider general and then take a specific example and study that part one. Okay, next. Now, next important part is after completion of each topic, you have to list the name reactions from that topic. Okay, halogen derivatives. Then what are the name reactions in that topic? Then next topic like this, list of name reaction in your notebook. 
you have a separate you should have your separate notebook okay then that is very useful for CET exam then make one more thing what is the role of reagent role of reagent that is what is the role of lithium aluminum hydride what is the role of this oxidizing agent this reducing agent like this after completion of each topic list the role of reagent and then when you complete the next topic then link that role of reagent to the next topic also okay next now one more thing see here for organic chemistry a fine reading is required okay i will give you some examples here see here alcohol alcohol when heated with concentrated H2SO4 at 413 Kelvin, then it undergoes intermolecular dehydration and ether is formed. Okay, but when it is heated with concentrated H2SO4, that is here also concentrated H2SO4, here also concentrated H2SO4, but here temperature is 443 or 453. It gives alkene undergo intramolecular dehydration. Only the difference is this much. Okay, one more example. See here, that is why require here fine reading. Barkale astate neat lakshadiyun kala. Barabar. One more. Alil group. Alil, that is here, CH, CS3. Here it is a propane. Now, propane when heated with chlorine, strongly heated with chlorine, then substitution takes place at allylic carbon, that is this carbon. Here, CH2 double bond, CH, CH2, CS. See here, allylic carbon. But same, if it is reacted with chlorine, but at a room temperature, not heated, here room temperature and inert solvent like a carbon tetrafluoride is used, then this chlorine molecule is added here, that is addition reaction takes place. Here Cl and here Cl. You have to note down such a bonds. What happened? This is given at one point in, the, in that topic. It is given at the, in the at the another place then you have to link that part then one more thing see here give you trick for one thing see in case of amongst i will give you a trick how to find out the answer quickly for benzene diazonium chloride okay benzene diazonium chloride now here, so many reactions are there. Here, it reacts with so many reagents and gives variety of product. Now here, trick is that whatever may be added here, that negative part goes here and this N2, that is N2 gas is escaped out. For example, cuprous chloride, Cu2Cl2 or CuCl, then Cl here, chlorobenzene. Cu2Br2, Br here. Suppose it is heated with the water, then OH here. Like this, remember only one sentence that the negative group goes here and this N2 plus is replaced by that negative group, negatively charged. Okay, like this. Then, now one more here. That is, first you have to study that topic, but make the summary of each point. And remember that summary that is very essential for CET exam as well as for board exam. Now consider one more example here for halogen derivatives. Okay. Suppose you studied that topic and now chlorobenzene. Now summary chlorobenzene. Okay. When it is heated with the sodium metal in a dry ether, what happens? Biphenyl is formed. Okay, but if it is heated with a methyl chloride in a dry ether and sodium, then it gives 
to enlever. Okay. If it is strongly heated, that is under a drastic condition, high temperature and high pressure, yes, OH Cl minus is replaced by OH minus, that is it undergoes nucleophilic substitution, this reaction. Again, same reaction is used in topic phenol for the preparation of phenol. And it undergoes electrophilic substitution to produce. Now you should know that electrophilic substitution reaction 5 that are applicable, that are, are used in all these four topics for aromatic compounds. Okay. That is, it is ortho para directing, takes place at a ortho and para. Para is more stable or more major product. Okay. Like this, you have to after completion of each topic, you have to make some charts for each compound. Okay. Similarly, for ethanol, for acetaldehyde, for ethyl chloride, how it is prepared and how it is reacts. Okay. You have to prepare like this one. Then, this is about the organic chemistry. Now, how questions ask in the board exam? How to write the answer of that question? I will explain that later on during the, before the board exam. Okay. But just, you should know now what type of questions ask in the board exam. Okay. And then you have to prepare like that topic. Okay. Now see here, different types of question. You know the multiple choice questions ask for that. Your, the knowledge is should be perfect knowledge that is deep knowledge fine reading of the textbook okay and you should know all basic concept to solve the multiple choice question okay next very short answer questions are there now in that very short answer question or one mark questions are there or definitions are there then here very short answer question like this questions may or in one mark question the question may be asked like this. Classify pollen as an extensive or intensive. Or it is a monosaccharide or polysaccharide or disaccharide or trisaccharide. It is a condensation polymer or addition polymer. It is a thermosetting polymer or thermosoftening polymer. Like this classification may be asked. Okay. Like this. Electronic configuration may be asked. You should know electronic configuration. Okay. Next type of question here, the distinguish or differentiate between this. Now differentiate between crystalline solid or amorphous solid or thermosetting, thermosoftening or electrolytic, ther electrochemical cell in that galvanic cell or galvanic cell and one more is, is a yes, electrolytic cell etc. Or Question may be asked like this, compare, compare, yes, compare between double salt and coordination compound, like this. Or, question may be asked like this, write the similarities between, similarities between lanthanides and actinides, like this. Or any, that is, you should know such a types of questions, then you have to prepare by considering this question, each topic. Okay, you have to prepare each topic by considering these types of questions. Okay, next. Now, other questions are diagrams may be asked. Okay, then derivation. You have to write the derivation that is after completion of physical chemistry topic. You have to note down the derivations also. You have to write down the derivation. Then, after this, other question, short note may be asked. Okay. Or give reasons are. Okay. Or uses of any compounds, prepare the uses of the different compound. Okay. May be asked. Next. Now, the questions from organic chemistry in that very important is name reaction. Ask or identify A, B. A to B, B to converted into C, then C is given or A is given, identify A, B, C. Okay. For, to solve such a type of question, you should know the 
knowledge of or the knowledge of all the topics that is halogen derivative alcohol aldehyde ketone and compound containing nitrogen then convert the following reactions are there okay you have to remember the catalyst as well as reagent for that reaction actually in organic chemistry what happens suppose any reaction is converted into this by using this catalyst or here reagent either this two given and reagent is asked like this name the reagent for conversion of this to this or how it is prepared or how it reacts with this like this such a types of questions are there okay then long answer questions like this manufacture of H2O super now how that question is prepared how to study that now see that first read that manufacture of H2O super then find out the name of the method that is contact process is used then the name that method contact process then what is the catalyst for that what is the conditions for that you have to remember only these points and the reaction for which reaction takes place during that process okay now once you know these points then you can answer the questions in the CET exam and you can write the long answer question in the board exam you know the points you know the flowchart diagram and you know the reaction like this you have to prepare the point wise manner okay then periodic trends from the p block elements may be asked okay one more question remember here prepare that question here the questions like this how will you distinguish primary secondary and tertiary alcohol by lucas test okay for three marks question may be asked like this okay three tests are there primary secondary and tertiary or how will you distinguish primary secondary tertiary amines by hinz work test okay like this or how will you distinguish this aldehyde and this ketone some aldehydes and ketones are distinguished by adoform test then which aldehyde and which ketone gives the adoform test you should know that one like this you have to prepare the the topic in this manner how of which type of question you should know the which type of questions ask on that topic okay okay now see here i have explained how to study here now presentation or how to answer this type of questions and questions and answer i will explain that before the board exam okay now we are you are going to prepare the topics in this way one more thing me ata he topic the video cha suru che aple barobar hai pan cet che question pan topic wise ghenar eta barobar thermodynamics halogen derivatives aple topic sample let te che me cet che questions ma ghenar hai te che answer cha discussion karnar hai okay